Hello everyone, my name is Cody Campbell, and welcome back to another StarCraft 2 video, Legacy of the Void. Last video we managed to recruit the, ro the robot for the Protoss, and now we must travel to the last it brings me great joy that the purifiers have chosen to join the Daylong. But Amon's armies are still a threat. Mobius Corps is overseeing Amon's hybrid production lab. I will not let this continue. We will go to Revenscar and destroy the station before Amon can create more of these abominations. Alright, we have this. This is the last... Hierarch. As ordered, my Dark Templar have tracked Mobius Corps to their base within the asteroid belt of Revenscar. Well done. Kerax, what do you know of their defenses? The asteroid field is highly volatile and guards the base's outer rim. The Spear of Adun will not be able to pass. However, our carriers could strike at the heart of the facility. We will set a course at once. Amon has taken away my armies. So shall I take away his. So he's just build mass. Ready our ships for assault. Hierarch, Mobius Corps vessels are not moving into attack position. Something isn't right. Our shielding has been punctured. I'm detecting Terran cloak signatures on the lower decks, heading toward the bridge. Templar, to me! We will not let the Spear of a Doom fall! Kerax. We cannot let this assault interfere with our plan. Mobius Corps will not expect a counterattack. Though you are not a warrior, you know their defenses better than any other. I entrust this task to you, Facesmith. Lead our carriers against the facility while my warriors hold here. As you command, Hierarch. Ship boarded. I need our best warriors here. I know you were not trained for battle, Faye Smith, but with your tactical expertise, you can destroy this facility. Go now, with my full faith behind you. All right. I guess we don't get the chance to choose which units we get to.
The Mobius facility. As we suspected, this is where Amon's hybrid armies are born. The operation is fueled by three power cores. Destroying them will destabilize the facility and allow us to annihilate the remaining structure. If I establish our nexus point on the outer edge of the platform, the Templar can fight their way in. But there are no ground paths and few minerals. Fortunately, our carriers are ready now. With their help, I might have a chance. This platform has been locked by Mobius security protocols. Hmm. They cannot be too difficult to decipher. If I gain access, I should be able to move the platform to areas with additional minerals. Well, at least there's enough resources here to get started. La Farosh. On the wings of justice. For honor. I stalk through the Access to the controls. The platform is operational. These navigational controls in the upper right of the command display will allow me to move it toward additional resources. The enemy will not be far, though. I should send some ships to scout ahead before we relocate. Detecting several banshees approaching our nexus. Amon has awoken. We sleep no more. We are time for battle. Where, Where are they? For honor. Call. 
I stalk through the stars. For honor. La Farosh. Understood. Upgrade complete. I will comply. Solarite. We could use it more than ever. Not enough minerals. Successful.
Time for battle. For honor. I will comply. Mineral field depleted. of justice. The skies await. You require more Vespine gas. Upgrade complete. I stalk through the stars. Base is under attack. Alan Pokal. Should never be done. The skies await. I stalk through the stars. You require more Vespine gas. The Death Fleet descends.
under attack. The Death Fleet descends. I am eager to strike. the stars for honor la farosh siravak cryor understood Depleted. Mineral field depleted. To victory! to strike on the wings of justice.
I stalk in the stars. Justice is served. Only destruction awaits our foes. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. destroyed. Mobius core energy reserves dropping to 66%. Excellent work, Face Smith. Press on. Justice is served. The platform's power grid is nearly offline, Hierarch. There is only one more core. Well done, Carax. The attacks on the ship have slowed. Greed. Your warriors. 
Reapers have engaged the enemy. Chambers are gone, and their solar right is ours. That went better than I'd hoped. Ah, Azul. Got one more power core to destroy, and that's it. The Death Fleet descends. The Death Fleet descends. Descends. Cruisers are warping away from the Spear of a Dune. Yes, I believe I have found them. It is no matter. We will not be deterred. The final power core has been destroyed. We must strike now. Hyrock, is the Spear of a Dune secure? Yes, we repelled the invaders before they could reach the Solar Core. Our weapon systems are yours to command. It was my honor to serve. Fire!
Amon's hybrid facility lies in ruin. His hybrid armies shattered. For the briefest of moments, we lingered on the cusp of ruin. We endured because of the actions of one brave Templar. In the midst of darkness, I have seen a light. I have seen defiant hope. Carax of the Kalai, you were born a craftsman from a cast of engineers. But now, you stand as a warrior. Today, it is clear that the Age of Casts has come to its end. Today, we must all become Templar. destroyed your Terran army, eradicated your hybrid facility, and turned your servants to my side. All that is left is your destruction. Impudence, back! You are insignificant in the face of the salvation I bring. You will come to Iron. Come on, cutscene load. His form is almost complete, and now he waits for us to return. He plans to bring the great fleet down. There is a way around this. We have to eliminate the sacred psi matrix that powers Iyer. Or we are all doomed. If he intends to use the Golden Armada to stop us from destroying his body, then you are right. Destroying the Psi Matrix is essential. It seems this connection of yours has proved worthwhile. But it is time to free yourself from Amon. Sever yourself from the Kala. I would relinquish all that I know. It is the only way. Unshackle yourself from the past, Rohana, and step into this new age. For the day long. We will set a course for Iyer. The Spear of Adun has finished replicating a new combat unit. You can assign it to a faction now if you wish. <laughs> Such hubris. To think that they could control what they did not understand. Oh. It's always hubris with the Terrans. Get too close to a black hole, and it will crush you. We once thought the same of the Tal'Darim, Alarak. We believed you mindless and obedient slaves. And we thought you were weak, impure, and unworthy. And yet now we stand together. Perhaps we acted too rashly with Mobius Core. There may have been a different way. Oh, Templar, is there ever a moment when your people do not doubt themselves? No, Artanis. Extermination was the only course. The hybrid leave nothing to save. Hi, 
hierarch. The purifiers are impressed with your leadership. They clamor to strike at the heart of Iman. Friend Phoenix, they are impressed equally with yours. Yes, they have chosen to follow my command. Leadership is new for me, as is everything else. I had not intended to become Hierarch. I questioned the decision. There had to be someone more worthy. Do not fall into the same mental traps I did, my friend. The Purifiers follow you for a reason, as the Dalam now follow me. Self-doubt will only cloud your decision-making. You speak truth, Hierarch. You speak as a leader. The deeds of a Templar suit you, Karax. For the entirety of my life, I have given myself to the art of creation. My war has been one of design. A battle against obstacles that hinder optimization. I am a face smith, and will always be my first calling. But, as times change, those who were not born true Templar can become so through their deeds. Then ready yourself, Templar. You will be needed. The Golden Armada has devastated the Sector, Artanis. I know we cannot engage them directly, but this must not continue. May those Terrans find peace in death. Rohana, before you freed yourself from the Kala's grip, did you see anything else? Yes, I saw Amon's end. As the Firstborn created the Kala, the Zelnaga were disturbed from their slumber. They felt an absence within the void itself. They discovered Amon and his followers at Zerus, and a war among the gods erupted. Amon unleashed the swarm. And the swarm consumed the Zelnaga. Only a fraction remained within Ulnar. In the final confrontation, Amon was felled, but he was not defeated. He returned to the Void, twisting it with his hatred. His servant, Narud, machinated for eons, seeking a body to sustain his master. The Hybrid. A stepping stone towards the host body he now forges upon Ayr. His plan is almost complete. We are still here, Rohana. And he can be defeated again. Capital ships have docked within the Spear of Adun. They await your preference. I answer the call. It is a good day to die. I answer the call. The skies await. The Taldarim Wrathwalker Robotics are now online, Hierarch. Carrier has arrived. All right, I think uh, that's going to do it for what this. What trivial task awaits us now? I think that's going to do it for this video. 
even though it was a short video. No, not really. Probably been playing for like 15 minutes. But anyways, guys, hope you all enjoyed this video. The, la the, ne the next video will, will basically be concluding the Legacy of the Void series. But it will not be the end of StarCraft 2. Not even close. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed it. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. As always, this is Cody. Indecision and I'll see you next is time. weakness. Do not examine. Okay.